one of the biggest streamers on YouTube, Aiden Ross, life is in danger by some West Coast gangsters, and they threatened to shoot him and shoot his security guards. All because of what happened with Drake. Aiden Ross shot the fame quickly with his viral reactions and had all the biggest rappers come into his stream. Hey, I got that two choppers of feeling. You saying this a first degree? I need one. His money green, my money blue. His money old, my money new. Jump out the coop, boy, what it do? I done blessed that nigga hot you. I be standing on all of these hoes. Coming through, busting on all of my shows. Coming through, balling like all of the pros. I be on standing with all of my hoes. He got popular for saying some wild and sometimes disrespectful things to gangster rappers and his popular pranks as jokes. I'm in the stew with the deuce. We popping up, we two and do. Suck it on a gun. I mean, wait, I'm fucking on a gun. <laughs> I'm gonna take a piss real quick. Do you wanna go? But this time, it went left. Things got dangerous. Them West Coast goons ain't playing, and LA is filled with bloods, crips, and vice lords who's ready to slide for the disrespect. And today, we're getting into how Aiden Ross' life got put in danger by West Coast gangsters, all because of Drake. And if y'all appreciate me bringing y'all the news, hit that like button, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel. This whole situation is ridiculous. Aiden Ross has never shied away from speaking his mind, and being one of the biggest streamers can be risky when people want to hurt you for your opinion. But when Aiden was in the club and a DJ played Kendrick Lamar's hit song, Not Like Us, Aiden straight up said how he felt about it. And those LA goons want not feeling what he said. LA gangsters got even more heated when Aiden Ross got on stream with academics and one of Drake's goons named Top 5 who recently just beat an attempted murder case. This guy Top 5 is known as Drake's number one shooter and he said he looking to slide on anybody that's going against Drake. Me and Drake are gonna link up in a couple days and we're gonna do this podcast. Oh, and, and we're gonna play not like us video we're gonna look at every in this video and we're gonna do homework. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, instead of getting mad at Drake Shooter for the threats, the West Coast gang members, which included AD from No Jumper and members of his crew, decided to go at Aiden Ross and they said it ain't safe for him no more. He's from Canada, Aiden Ross? No, nah, he Jewish. Where he from? He like, he like Florida. He like, turn this off. This is right. so Aiden Ross dripping too. Oh, what's up, man? What's up? Yo, he's a He's a Hey, bro. And I hope you see this clip because I'm going to you up too. Oh my mama. Aiden Ross got word that he might be banned in LA by the gangsters and decided to drop his nuts on the OGs disrespectfully. I'm LA. I'm not banned from LA, bro. I yeah. wish somebody would. I swear to God, I'm gonna go to LA. Nobody's gonna do to me, I promise you, bro. I don't give a f like you think I'm scared of LA? What? I lived in LA for years and years and years. I'm not banned from LA. F that old ass on that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, <laughs> but I'm gonna have security smack the shit out of you. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know, but I'm gonna have security smack the out of you and beat your ass. It's that simple, bro. And that's when things got serious. Because when them LA gangsters heard how Aiden disrespected them, they officially declared a no fly zone in LA for Aiden. And they said that him and his security could get shot. But one, who is he calling? Oh, dang, oh. Right. And I swear to God. And I swear to God, I'm going to slap him. And even if his security is from L.A., they're going to get slapped too. So if he comes with some out-of-town security, they really going to get smashed. There's no fly zone for him. He just he put himself in an equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to L.A. Aiden Ross, let me, uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. When things started to get too real, Aiden defaulted to the rich white civilian role and threatened to call the laws on them boys ASAP. Aiden Ross, let me uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. So come do it. Go to jail for the rest of your life. It's so worth it, bro. Your life. Come on, let's try it. Let's 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 make some magic happen. Come on, try it. At least you'll go to jail for what minimum five years in LA. What is it? I get I got the best lawyers of all time, baby. Let's do it. And I'm a low key see you for that. You want to? I can't wait, yo. Let me get that clip again. Put that on my phone right now. Send that right to my lawyer. I promise you, I'm serving you ASAP. Don't ever threaten my life again, you big. Go start a family. This podcast is not for you. I'm not. I'm not a gangster. I'm not about that life at all. That's why I said security is gonna do what they're gonna do. But now 
I'm going straight to my lawyer. But I don't know what happened in between the threats of shootouts and lawsuits because Aiden suddenly changed his mind. And today he issued an apology to the whole city of LA. Guys, I've been uh, I've been talking to people from LA. Uh, I'm, I'm actually coming to LA in about a, probably like a couple weeks. Don't put GG's in the chat. Probably coming in a couple weeks. Gonna probably do some horror night streams. Gonna go around, do a couple podcasts, stuff like that. So, um, but I do want to I do want to clarify and, and, and take a step back and really, you know, in the moment, obviously, I was talking crazy and shit. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm not necessarily apologizing to people I was talking towards, but I do want to say one thing. LA is to not be f with. LA is a serious place, and I love LA. Seriously, I love LA. Um, now, I'm not folding. I still say f you to the people that were coming at me. F you. Um, but I, I'm not saying f you to to all of LA because I'm not even joking, bro. People that are uh, in a certain amount of group, rappers, uh, specifically the rapper you guys know I'm talking about. You guys like to pedestal a bunch of these rappers. Bro, LA is is deeper than that, bro. There's a lot of dangerous people out in LA. They don't even talk on the internet. They don't even have an internet. They don't even have. They don't even care about the internet. People don't talk on the internet. So I was never trying to disrespect LA. I love LA, bro. I love LA. Probably the best. I love California, bro. The the, the, the weather is the best there. You know, I love Los Angeles. The issue is, um, and, and yeah, I don't live there anymore. But I'm not folding. I'm really not. It's still. You to the people that I was talking to. The problem was I, I was saying that I'm gonna go there and LA not on. Sh uh, the LA is on for real. Um, I don't want anyone taking me serious. I'm a I'm a, f uh, I'm a nerdy white streamer kid. All right, all right. So none of you guys should take me seriously, please. I'm glad that Aiden apologized because them LA streets ain't nothing to play with. Aiden not from the hood. He live in a mansion. He might fully don't understand West Coast street politics because he talking to the OGs like he was Tony Montana. If he was from the culture, he would understand that a lot of celebrities actually get killed in Los Angeles from Tupac, Biggie, Nipsey, Pop Smoke, and even recently, PNB Rock. No matter how rich and famous you are, truth is, anybody could get touched. But also, the street dudes gotta understand that the laws of the streets don't apply to civilians. So you can't be surprised if you, as a gang member, threaten a civilian and they call the police on you. That's what civilians do. This is a prime example of how quick things could turn deadly in the streets. A simple difference of opinion over Drake almost ended with a rich white streamer and his security almost getting shot over a simple misunderstanding. But that's the situation so far. And if you haven't seen my last video, click this video right here to see how Offset crashed out in front of everybody when Cardi B did the unthinkable. I'm gone.